my girl eating her secretly drugged yogurt. She loves it. You can see she's into it. And then over here, to keep smoke distracted, she is eating chicken baby food straight out of the jar. So that's our, that's my drug dealing today. Well, morning drug dealing. Look at that. It's so cool. today's day 11 so um I had uh really big plans today that I was gonna stay home all day and I had to do uh you saw the clip earlier I had um to finish up the research and the prep for my very first tour that's tomorrow um so I had to do that but so I got up I gave Ember her medicine you saw that clip too and then I did my research um and then I went just to check on the rats and see how they were doing and I swear I cannot win with this rat so I'm pretty sure I noticed the other day that she, that Ember had kind of like a like a little sort of like a little scab you know like it was scabbed up like it had been a little scratch or something on her back and I you know the rats groom each other incessantly so I thought okay you know smoke probably was just you know grooming her and just got a little aggressive and made a little scratch or whatever and it's healing up and that's fine but then today you know I noticed that she is incessantly scratching herself scratching her fur and I noticed she's got like this discoloration like on both sides like right around her neck and she's you know she's just scratching 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 so I'm like oh crap what is wrong with this rat and she just looks she just looks a mess today, you know, like her fur's all ruffled up, like she's just scratching herself crazy. And the scab is still there. Um, so I thought, oh, what's going on? So I did, I hit the Googles, I hit the rat forums, you know, where I get most of my information. It's crazy having a pet rat, let me just say that, because it's very difficult to get veterinary care. Um, you know, there's not a lot of vets that will see rats. So you have to almost like become an uh, an expert on rat behavior and rat health um, on your own. And it's like I, I have this uh, this online rat forum that is filled with rat owners around the world, which has been so helpful to me because these are people that have had rats for many years, have had, you know, all the experiences you can have with rats and you know getting vet care you know knowing what's what different things mean with rats and all that kind of stuff so it's like been extremely helpful but at the same time it's that's a lot it's time consuming like you really have to sort of become a rat expert but anyway to get back to uh you know our latest issue i believe uh she is having an allergic some sort of like sensitivity to the yogurt that I've been giving her twice a day. You saw how much she gets twice a day this morning. Um, and apparently dairy is one of the number one uh, things that rats can have sensitivities and allergies to. And it's the kind of thing where um, it can take a little bit of time for it to build up and for the symptoms to, you know, really start to show. So I'm pretty sure that I'm making her skin irritated with this stupid yogurt to give her her medicine twice a day so that ruined my plans because I was planning on just staying home and kind of hanging out um laying low today but I had to go out and get some bananas because I'm going to try uh giving her her medicine tonight with mashed banana I've I did that in the past with her other antibiotic and she took it pretty well not as good as the yogurt because I'll tell you what she loves the yogurt um but she did all right with mashed banana and it seems like that's what we're gonna have to go back to so i ran out and got some bananas and then um you know my husband and i just kind of like went and messed around a little bit and ran some errands we uh just went to five below and looked around and stuff 
Um, so I'm not going to answer any questions today because I wanted to give you the rad update and also tell you that I did finish my research for my big tour tomorrow. Um, so I think in terms of information and having my artwork selected, I'm ready. Um, I am super duper nervous. Um, and I think all that's left for me to do is really have a full-blown panic attack before this thing um, <laughs> happens. So uh, that's tomorrow. And I am, it's a drop-in tour. So there's not, um, you know, nobody has to sign up. It's just whoever is there and wants to do the tour can do the tour. So I'm like halfway hoping no one shows up and I'm off the hook. But then I'm also kind of I, like I want I really want to get a tour done so I can like you know, get over the terror and the panic of, you know, doing a tour. Um, so I, I know I've, I don't know if I, I don't think I talked about it in any of these blogs, these vlogs anyway, but, um, I'm particularly nervous about this tour because of the content. Um, so this exhibition is, um, all about masculinity and there's a lot of, um, controversial type stuff um, that I'm going to talk about. One of the artworks that I selected is um, an installation piece that is really all about immigration and the way that um, immigrants are treated when they try to enter the United States from Mexico. Um, so that has the potential for, you know, I would say differing opinions and um, maybe, you know, like confrontational types of ideas. Another one I selected is um, all about like the NFL protests, like Colin Kaepernick taking a knee um, for the national anthem and, you know, how that relates to masculinity. And so that one, I am sure uh, some people, you know, some people could pop off about and, um, so I'm a, that's a little bit stressful because I'm worried not even so much about, you know, knowing the information and leading the tour and doing a good job, but I'm also worried about possibly, you know, having to, having to deal with, you know, people that disagree with the artwork or disagree with the ideas or the, the concepts. So anyway, that's tomorrow. Um, but you know, I'm prepared. I have all my information. I'm ready. I'm ready to talk about it. I know what questions I want to ask the viewers. Um, I know the information that I want to share with them about the work. So all I have to do is, you know, hyperventilate, breathe into a paper bag and uh, just get it done. Do it. I'm sure I'll have a lot more to say about that tomorrow, but you know, that's where I'm at with that. Um, something I got while I was out that I thought would be fun to do on camera is this is something called Cats vs. Pickles. It's like a blind pack. It says collect them all. Surprise plush toy. One cat or one pickle. So, will we get a cat or will we get a pickle? I mean, let's find out. Oh my gosh, I think I, I, I already I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Go okay. It's a cat and look how cute it is it looks like a pumpkin or something I don't know it's so cute let me see <gasps> carrot head this cat cares a lot look how cute it is <laughs> oh my god I love it okay so that's it for me today um I hope you're having a wonderful Saturday I appreciate you thanks for watching <laughs> I will see you tomorrow